Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be reacting to Dr. Zaki Naik debates Indian Ambassador versus Dr. Zaki Naik Islamic Research Foundation Peace TV 2017. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. I am R.S. Yadav, I am a diplomat in the Indian Embassy. With due respect to all the people and ladies present in the hall, I am just going to express a view which I would like Dr. Zakir to carry with him because he has an access to the world audience. Dr. Zakir started by saying that for a dialogue amongst various civilizations or various religions, we all have to come to a common conclusion. In that, the speaker stated and justified as to how Jesus, Ram, Prophet Muhammad are all equal. Rather, he went to the extent of getting support from certain Indian scriptures and certain Christian scriptures to justify the existence or the status of Prophet Muhammad. It's all very good. But we have been listening over the last two, three years, various conferences which have taken place across the world the starting point is not by saying that are they all God, are they all equal or somebody is superior or somebody is inferior. I personally feel that none of us present here in the hall today have ever seen our respective gods. Neither the Muslims have seen Prophet, neither I as a Hindu have seen Ram, neither the Christians have seen Jesus. The more important factor which I will request the speaker to catch on in any of his further talks is human being, the goodness amongst us. When the speaker stated, Hindus say everything is God, it means that there is an element of goodness amongst all of us, which if nurtured can make us near to God. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to thank our brother from the Indian Embassy and, and thank you for his comments. And he mentioned that in most of the interfaith dialogues, he said that he agreed that I tried to prove the commonalities and trying to prove that Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Jesus are messengers. Yes, we agree. Rama, maybe, may not be, you can refer to my talk on similarity with Islam and Hinduism. Maybe, maybe is not. Even if you all yours meant for people of that time, that's what I say. But he said that in the interfaith dialogues, we don't discuss about God. No one, he has not seen Rama, Muslim has not seen Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Christian, I mean, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. But we have to talk about the qualities, the human values, the human goodness. And when he says that Hindu says everything is God, goodness is there in everything, that's what you're saying, not the scripture. Coming to your point, I do agree. We first talk about the human good qualities. No Muslim can be a good Muslim unless he's a good human being. And number one duty of a human being is he should thank his creator almighty God. If you cannot thank and worship your Creator Almighty God, what is the use of you helping your neighbor? Useless. You should help your neighbor. You should help the poor. I'm not against it. But if you disrespect your Creator Almighty God, you cannot thank Him. You cannot worship Him. All your other activities is useless. That's the reason. It's mentioned in the Quran. In Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 48. Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 116. 
If Almighty Allah SWT wants, He may forgive any sin. But the sin of shirk, He will never forgive. For anyone who does shirk, associate partners with God, he has stayed far away. The biggest sin in Islam is shirk, associating partners with God. And similarly, that's what the Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse 72. That they are doing kufr. Those who say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, son of Mary, is Allah. Waqal al Masih, but said Christ, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, O Abdullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbakum, who is my Lord and your Lord. In no may shrik billah, anyone who associates partners with Allah, Fakad haram Allah ulayah al jannah, Allah will make jannah haram for him. Wama wahun nar, wama li zalmi min ansar, and fire shall be dwelling place, and he shall have no help of the hereafter. So here the biggest sin in Islam is shirk. Same thing mentioned in the Bible. What I quoted to you. Thou shall not make any images of me. Same thing you mentioned in the Veda. So when you're talking about qualities of human beings, the best quality is quality of thanking our great almighty God. He does not require you and me. You will ask me that why should I thank him? People ask me, why do you say Allah Akbar? Why you have to pray to God? I said, see, in Islam, whether we pray to God or not, it makes no difference to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When I say Allah Akbar, Allah is the greatest, He is already the greatest. By me saying Allah Akbar, He won't become greater. Why do we say? You know why do we say? Because when I praise anyone, whenever I call anyone great, it's a human tendency, I try and follow His commandments. For example, if your mother has a heart attack, and suppose there's a layman who's a quack, he just comes and tells you that do so and so thing. Will you follow? On the other hand, you come to know of a person who is the most famous heart specialist in the world. He gives you the prescription. Will you follow him or will you follow a common man? But naturally, you will follow the prescription of the best heart specialist in the world. He is the most famous. The moment he is famous, you will follow his prescription if your mother has a heart attack. So the reason we praise Allah is not so that he becomes greater. When we praise Allah, the moment we praise him, whatever commandments he gives in the Quran, we follow it. So first we have to identify who is our almighty God. And then what he says, we have to follow that. The reason Muslim means a person who submits his will to almighty God. Muslim is not by name, Zakir, Abdullah, Muhammad, Sultan. Muslim means a person who submits his will to almighty God. Now, what is good is subjective. What you call is good, I may not say it is good. Who is going to say what is good, what is bad? You are going to have a dialogue? The best person who can say what is good or what is bad for the human beings is the creator of the human beings, Almighty God. So unless you don't come to know who is the true Almighty God, what are his attributes? You should worship Him alone and the way you should worship all your other criteria of humanity is useless. The number one criteria is, is thanking our Creator Almighty God. That is the best human quality. And what is good and what is bad for us differs of opinion. Even the doctors differ. The best doctor is the Creator of the human being, Almighty God. He tells you alcohol is prohibited in the Veda, in the Bible, in the Quran. Don't have it. He says pork is prohibited in the Hindu scriptures, in the Bible, in the Quran. Don't have it. Gambling is prohibited. What is good, what is bad, how will you come to know? It is subjective. Therefore, there is a query that do good people go to hell is a question. So I ask you, what is good compared to what humanity thinks is good? Fine, love each other, no problem, girls and boys mixing, pornography, no problem, everything is good. So if this is what you call is good, no problem, intermingling, homosexuality, everything is good. So such good people will surely go to hell. First, you have to realize by the definition what is good. So, do good people go to hell? If these are the criteria for your goodness, they'll go to hell. In religion, no good person can ever go to hell. Who is a good person? Number one, the person who realizes his creator, who respects him, who worships him and follows his commandment. That there is in the interfaith, the most important point is to identify who is our God and to worship him and no one else, then the messengers, and then the other things. Hope that answers the question, brother.
what a video um you know no one can really tell us what to follow in life no one can persuade us no one can force us no one can put a knife to our throat to convince us otherwise uh if you as a person want to look for the good in all the religions then do that don't ever let anyone stop you you find the good in each religion put them into practice if you want and live on um of course how you look at the previous religions prior to uh islam is also up to you you know do you want to take it as you know what that was how god wanted to deliver deliver the message in parts first to the jews then to the who then to the what then the entire world it's really up to you but with whatever mindset you have always look for the positivity in the results of whatever you want to look into positivity above everything is the greatest gateway to um, knowledge i would love to believe or an open way of thinking and grasping whatever you find out there let me know what you guys actually think about this video if there's anything you want me to react to drop the name or the link down below i'll be more than glad to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video